Todd loves sweets, and this is one seriously sweet pie. He also loves chocolate, peanut butter, so this pie covers all the bases. I also love this pie for all of the aforementioned reasons, but I also love it because it begins with a chocolate cookie crust. I'm gonna melt four tablespoons of butter in the saucepan and then grind up the cookies. I have exactly 25 chocolate sandwich cookies. Now, I'm just gonna pulse these up. Don't worry about the creamy filling because it just totally disappears and becomes part of the crumbs. Now, the butter is melted. I'll just drizzle it in. Butter and chocolate cookies. Life doesn't get any better than that. And then I'll just give it a couple of pulses just to moisten up the crumbs. And that is it. Very, very uncomplicated. That's one of the things I love about this pie. Now, I will make a big mess as I <laughs> pour the crumbs into the pie pan. And then the easiest way to get it in is just use your hands, start pressing the center. You want the crust to be pretty packed in there so then later when you slice the pie, the crust will stay together. Another thing I love about this crust is that it's a refrigerator pie and it doesn't have to bake. I'm just gonna stick the crust in a 350 degree oven for about five or seven minutes just to get it set. The filling begins with a cup of creamy peanut butter. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I don't wanna go through the effort of measuring it into the cup and then scraping it out of the cup. So if I get a little more or less, it won't hurt anything. All right, and then I've got an eight ounce package of softened cream cheese. I'll throw it in there, and then I'll just whip this up for a sec. What a yummy, yummy mixture. Now to this mixture, I'll add a cup and a fourth of powdered sugar. And the final ingredient, avert your eyes, frozen non-dairy whipped topping. I've been thawing it so it's nice and soft. Of course, you can use regular whipped cream, but it just won't come out with the same consistency as this stuff. Okay, absolutely perfect. All right, now I'm just gonna put this into the cooled crust. I tell you, if you love peanut butter, this is your dessert. The whole kitchen smells like peanut butter right now. And then I'll just spread it around. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And that is all there is to it. Now it just needs to sit in the fridge for a couple of hours until it's set. Oh, wow, that's mine. That looks oh my good. God. Oh my God. Chocolate peanut butter pie. Oh, that's definitely mine.